Well, after one week, almost in the climate week, hearing about the crisis and the threats to the planet, for us to be able to share the um, big threat to our land, our oceans, our air, nature, and discuss how best to in, uh, improve the way we manage our global commerce was very important. We've brought together an amazing discussion talking about how science and the law together can drive the change that we need for the people and planet to thrive. If we can actually use litigation in a way that successfully hold oil and gas polluters accountable for the poison that they have introduced to the natural environment, then we will make massive headways on overcoming the climate crisis. I think there's been a tendency for national state leaders to focus on the economy. When this is not a crisis of the economy, but is a crisis created by the economic systems, what we need to be looking at is how protection of the environment, protection of human rights, and the rights of indigenous people are critical aspects of finding real solutions of transformative change. What laws do we have in place? What governance arrangements do we have in place to protect our people and our home uh, for those future generations? We need to actually have conversations with people that are on the front lines, on the front, front lines of law, on the front lines of land defense, on the front lines of human rights activism. So this is how we reach people and how we make impact is these types of collaborations across groups and across sectors. This is what spurs creativity, what spurs ideas, and ultimately what spurs action.